should take the everybody should take the uh, let me say this it's a part of the probably the most ignorant uh, black Hebrew cult in America it's a lot of them and I, I talked about it in my previous videos uh, you know you have the GMS you got uh, IOCC, you got different ones, uh, you got Yahweh Ben Nation, African Hebrew Israelites, different ones, and a lot of these brothers I respect, a lot of brothers and sisters I've talked to over the years and I respect, but I think ASUP uh, is probably the worst, that's the Israeli uh, School of Universal Practical Knowledge, they, they, they're probably the most worst, the, 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 the baddest example of being a black Hebrew Israelite in this country, but uh, this general Yohana guy, this clown, this pirate ranger, he said he had evidence that uh, <laughs> Dr. Ben was an agent, okay? Uh, he came with his tape and he said that the proof that he had was that because he was a part of UNESCO, which everyone knows he's a part of UNESCO. I mean, that was like 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 not a secret. That wasn't some Illuminati secret. But then this clown gets on video, on record, and says that UNESCO was an agricultural, uh, well, no, not agriculture, but an archaeological department of the Illuminati. I'm going to say this again. This dumb Negro said that UNESCO, everyone knows about UNESCO. He said that UNESCO was an archaeological department or branch of the Illuminati. Doping them up, killing them, doing all kinds of shit to them. So I understand how black people think, but... ...have government-controlled churches here in America. The sad answer to that is yes. And he was talking about 501c3, and I could definitely see, yeah, there's some major issues there with church and corporation. Hundreds of preachers and other religious leaders are going to get a pep talk of sorts from members of the Congressional Black Caucus on how to combat the recent rise in voter ID laws. I'm joined now by the chairman of the Congressional Black Caucus, Congressman Emanuel Cleaver, Democrat from Missouri, who is also an ordained minister. Congressman, it's good to see you. Good morning. Good to be with you. So you've got this big summit tomorrow. Essentially, what is your message to several hundred clergy members, I understand, who will be there? Yes, we'll have uh, representatives from nine denominations who actually pastor somewhere in the neighborhood uh, of about uh, 10 million people. And uh, we're going to, first of all, uh, equip them with the information they need to know uh, about what they can say and what they cannot say uh, in the church uh, that would violate their 501c3 status with the IRS. In fact, we're going to have the IRS administrator there. We're going to have the Attorney General Eric Holder there. Uh, we're going to have the lawyers uh, organization from around the country, the ACLU, all giving ministers guidance on what they can and cannot do. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, a sincere shalom to you, other elders, you Akim, you brethren, you few sisters, and you followers of the truth. And mainly, let me say shalom to the elect. I want to go on this video. Okay, this is, video is inspired by a video I saw um, on Apostle Tahar's channel. I can't remember, you know, so many videos, but in the video, he was talking about the general, which I've spoke on that as well in the past on you don't even have to say much. And when you speak on a general, you know, you um, pretty much, you know, it's taken taken away. Let me say that. You get the point. So I wanted to say that as to say that this man has to be juiced. There's no other way about it. This man is juiced. And as you see the video and what he has actually said, and they know that you know they throw the buzzwords in there where they the subliminal words, let me say that, where they say that word over and over now I'm looking at the video and in two minutes of the video he said the same word like 30 40 times like it was coached I don't know but there's something crabby about that why when you talk about something you got to mention that particular thing damn near 30 times in two sentences that doesn't sound right but as I put in the intro, it's not much else to say. This man 
is uh and you know he's in that hookup anyway i want to read a um a little clip article the restrictions which when you do the research we've done this over and over i remember apostle Gabar did a video on it going into lbj linda baines johnson uh, when you do the research uh, i've done a video on it years back on why this came to pass with a 501c3 in the churches and also I'm not trying to, you know, make a gossip out of this, but when I went to their their, um, their tax exemption page, it's not a secret. It's up. It's all over YouTube. I mean, uh, Google. It says by by the standard, it says Christian. So these guys are using Christianity. They're nothing but another form of Christians. I can pull it up and show it, but it's not necessary. You get the point. Um, it says under the Internal Revenue Code, the IRC, all sections 501c3 organizations are absolutely prohibited from directly or indirectly participating in an, or in interviewing or intervening in any political campaign on behalf of or opposition to any candidate for elective public office. So this is saying, you know what this is saying? This is saying you cannot come up against any uh notable officials of the of the of the state or the government. I don't know any best way to say it. You can't get involved in that. And the scriptures speak of um preaching freely give the word. But you're muzzled you can't speak that can't be of the Lord man Yahweh Yahweh Shai that can't be the, the, the words of the most high man that you can't get involved in the political arena and speak on certain things dealing with um, electoral issues that's crazy but if a cop blows somebody away you are under the code section to go down and march, right? You could do that because BLM is set up under the same organization, pretty much the same type of way, right? And the main reason why I want to do this video is to show you that this man is the one, anybody who's for the black and white thing, they support it. Why do they support it? That's what keeps the energy going and keeps the separation so as long as you preach we're about our blacks and hispanics and native americans forget the africans though that's letting letting them know that, that you know the israelites are amongst all nations scattered this is crazy but this is how they are and this is what they want to keep alive just like this thing with uh, um the fight so to speak with um, Deontay Wilder and um, Tyson Fury, which we know they definitely fear uh, uh, Wilder is a Jake. Fury is believed to be a Jake, I believe. And um, as long as you keep that energy of the the black and the white or the culture of diff- different cultures, and and not bring it together, that Israelites. Or in that battling ring. That keeps the energy going. That keeps the separation. That keeps the oppression. Right? And that's what they do. Okay? So, you know, that's what they do. Right? I'm not going to get into uh, the situation with that event so much. Um, but... We know how these things go, okay? Uh, Anyway, um, it goes on to say, violating uh, this prohibition may result in denial or revocation of tax exemption status and imposition of certain excise taxes. So once you get caught into these things, they won't admit it. And trust me, they might do a a two-hour video and they won't admit it. This is how you get caught in the sellout contracts. Once you turn your back 
on this, the system that set you up, you are in debt. And, and all those things you have achieved and received, now you have to pay a form of tax on. And this is why a lot of these entertainers that go against the grain, so to speak, they wind up broke at death. Anyway, let's get a scripture. Wouldn't be right to get a scripture. Um, Matthew 6 and 24. No man can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other. Or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve Yahweh and Mammon. Right? So Mammon just goes into um, G31. G31. Um, I pretty much don't know what it is. G3126. Okay, it says, Treasure riches where it is personified and opposed to Yahweh. So we could clearly see that they accept it. When you accept those riches, you can't serve them both. See, what you see now is the image of what we say the image of the beast, right? What you see happening now is the philosophies of how it went back in Rome. This is why this is said. To get, you know, men, you know, Israelite men to take the bag. And you had Jakes who took the bag. And once you take the bag, as Romans the first chapter is, you're giving up for that vile affection. I'm not going to go deep into that either. But the precept, I saw a precept on it. Uh, um, actually, um, they had an, another scripture that kind of went with this scripture. That kind of go hand in hand. Uh, Philippians uh, 3 and 19. Uh, this scripture is a reference. Philippians 3 19. Let's see what it says. Um. Let's go to 17. Brothers, be followers together of me and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an ensample for many walk of whom for many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Why would he say he would tell you this weeping? Because it was hard to see that Jake was acting like that they was in the truth or believed it, but the whole time they were enemies of Yahweh enemies of the body. Okay, it goes on to say, whose end is destruction, whose God is their own belly, is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame and mind earthly things. Right? That's these guys. So when you go back here to this, um, they even got it up on their own site. Israelite School of UPK says the ISUPK, as the guy say, ASUP, right? Um, and I don't want to call them out of their name, but that's what they are, ISUPK. is a 501c3 faith-based. They say faith-based. How are you faith-based with a 501c3? This is not making sense community organization that explores the biblical history of the King James Version Bible to respond to the plagues. Now, we all know what's going on there. On poverty-stricken urban America through the spiritual support to substance abusers, sexually and men mentally abused individuals. This is why these guys... This man, the general, they call him, if it ain't of commanding General Yohan, is not of the truth. Because they're idolizing this man as the God. As if the Most High didn't set all this up. This is why us at Great Millstone, we go into the reaching of the elect. And that's all that's considered. <clears throat> right? But we don't know what the elect is, so we still stretch out in the hope that the elect come in. We're not here to set up big, you know... Big hot dog stands, beef hot dogs, you know, big colossal hot dogs on the buns with some ketchup, you know, and hot sauce, 
you know, and a bag of Utz chips, right? <laughs> and some brown liquor, you know, <laughs> with your food stamps, you know what I'm saying? We, we're not going to do that, all right? So, <laughs> this is, um, <laughs> this is what these guys do. They get those, they, they rehab these guys out of prison. They send them to DSS, Department of Social Services. If they're drug addicts, they open up rehab. First of all, rehab rehab houses. I was in the streets. I, I was never a drug addict, but I was on the other side of the table. So I understand how it works and how the big hustle was setting up rehab houses way back in the day. And you made money and you would get them and you would collect their food stamps. And then out of all the food stamps, right, you will get uh, benefits from the state. And then you'll get the food stamps. You'll get them a couple dollars. You'll take their food, buy bulk food, right? You get a, um, you know, with the 501c3, um, you know, you get a, a card. And you go into the bulk stores. You get all the food, right? And you have people come in. And then in some cases, you sell, you, you know, I'm not saying they're doing this. Some cases when they throw them parties and picnics, you they ask people to put up some money. But really, they're getting the food stamp money, and they're hustling um, people who are unfortunate or misfortunate and taking their money and leaving them on the side and, cl and claiming to fix black people. And in some sense, if it works for them, it works, and they make money. But this is not really about fixing black people. This is about fixing the general's pocket, Okay? And that, that is proof of that. This is what they do. He admitted on Sanetta's show how he raked in like uh, $100,000, gave away 40000 Nobody gives away 40000 without some form of profit. This is what this has led in this man to become a Israelite, you know, down-home Israelite hustler. Anyway, that's all I have on that shallow one.